you can't make that up. Didn't I say, like, some of you could be getting married? So I am saying here, some of you will move in with this person. That for some of you, this could be a twin flame. Oh, wow. They're ready to take. Look at that angel of Venus right there. They're ready to take it to the next level. Whatever has happened here, whoever hurt you in the past, whoever did you wrong, you are being vindicated. Okay, there is going to be justice. Also, some of you might get marriage. Like, you might be literally married by the end of 2022. You know, they say it runs in the family. Cancer, you're over here saying, no, this is where it ends. Like, this is... <sighs> My beautiful Cancerians, hello, hello, happy new year, okay? Happy new year to you guys. Welcome to the Stargate portal. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a reading for you guys. This is your 2022 predictions video, okay? It is a general reading, though, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. Energies are interchangeable, and I do believe in the power of manifestation and the law of attraction. I do believe on some level we can alter our future, so just do make sure to read the disclaimer in the description box below. Crosswatchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. For a personal read, check the Linktree link, okay? I, the store is stocked up, and personal reads come in three to seven business days, so just bear that in mind. Do be patient, especially if there's a lot of orders. Um, and yeah, just leave the, especially if you're in a twin flame or you're in a love connection, just leave the name of you and your person, and if you want, you can leave the zodiac signs and whatnot. But anyhow, that is the thing with personal reads. I believe that is everything I wanted to say to my beautiful Cancerians. Yes, I believe that's it. So yeah, let's get started here. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us. 2022 general predictions for my Cancerians, my beautiful Cancers. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial knowledge. Thank you. They're telling, they're telling me trailing that's what i was gonna say they're telling me to roll the dice the planet dice the celestial body dice oh here we go Ooh, the moon that's interesting you got the moon because the moon rolls over cancer we could literally see the moon card kick in okay this is like secrets though revelation stuff being revealed Ooh, aquarius there could be, like, somebody from the past that you're trying to reconcile with, okay? They may have ghosted you. This could be, like, a twin flame situation that's going on, okay? For whatever reason, they're telling me to shuffle the deck four times. Card number four. Is card number four the Emperor? Yes, I believe card number four is the Emperor. So we could see the Emperor kick in as well. That's also Aries energy. Um, and Aries is ruled, if we want to take it a step further... In astrology, Aries is ruled over by Mars, which is a planet of war, destruction. I do believe the Tower card as well. Let me look at my tarot book here. I have a very in-depth tarot book that I just got. It's so in-depth. Like, it even has Hebrew, let Hebrew letters. Um, I'm not going to get into all of that. Well, maybe. But yeah, here, I want to see what the Tower is. Pretty sure... Um, pretty sure the Tower is aries as well or is ruled over is ruled over by mars excuse me which so that would be aries energy oh death yeah the tower hmm astrology mars rage conflict and war also animalistic instincts which all serve to break down the status quo yeah so we could be seeing that as well um, because they told me shuffle four times, so we're gonna do four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's see what they have for you. I'm gonna flip the face up. I'm like nervous. Ooh, the higher phone. Card number five, ruled, uh, Taurus energy ruled by Venus, four of pentacles. Why am I getting so nervous here? King of swords. Oh, this is looking like the Scorpio read on some level, except the energy is different for your reading. Six of swords. 
<sighs> temperance, strength, yikes, Leo energy, we could also see uh, the sun, temperance. Is Sagittarius not ruled by Jupiter? Why does this look like Mars? <laughs> you know, if temperance is Sag energy, isn't Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter? Like, it looks like Mars in the background. <laughs> Can somebody explain that to me? Maybe I'm, like, completely wrong. Sagittarius. Yeah. Is Sagittarius... Now I'm gonna look this up. People in the comments are gonna be like, You're a tarot reader. You should know this. No, tarot readers are psychics. They're not astrologists. Not all tarot readers are astrologists. There's a difference. But I do believe... I do believe Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. By the sun. Somebody put by the sun. Ruling planet Jupiter, yeah. Yep. I knew it. Somebody put the sun. I'm like, what? That does not look like Jupiter. Does that look like Jupiter? That looks like Mars to me. Sarver Marchetti. You know, I love your artwork, but come on now. You you threw in a curveball. Anyhow, let's get to the reading. <sighs> Cancer, there's a lot here. Okay, cross watchers, you may relate to this, but I see here you really need to be careful with your money. Be careful with your money. I see here a lot of you are walking away from family. Okay, a lot of you are cutting off family. This could be a toxic daughter, son, a toxic sibling. Sibling, excuse me. I don't know why I'm having this difficulty to speak. The throat chakra. Um... Could even be husband, wife that you're going to divorce, okay? Because we, what did they say? Shuffle the deck four times. Card number four is the Emperor, which is ruled over by Mars, which is war, death, destruction, chaos. Something here is coming to an end, and that's why temperance is coming in here along with uh, uh, strength, excuse me. So you have Sagittarius and Leo energy, but you also have Leo, which is ruled by the sun, which is a healing celestial body, and Jupiter, which is a very positive celestial body, okay? Moving forward, uh, building dreams, okay? So it's like, it, you know, now, it, you know, they're speaking. Do you guys get the chills? Or is it just me that gets the chills? Because they're speaking through me, through the numbers. They're saying, shuffle the deck four times. The fourth card in Tarot, right, is the Emperor. Yeah, didn't I look at it in the book? Yeah, Emperor. The fifth card is the Hierophant. So the Emperor, which is ruled by Mars, which is all about breaking the status quo, you know, through war, rage, and conflict. And it's like the Hierophant there with the Four of Pentacles, it's like you are breaking some sort of ancestral pattern, some sort of toxic generational tradition from your family. That's what I see here. Okay, my Cancerians, you're breaking the mold so to speak you're moving forward like you know they say it runs in the family cancer you're over here saying no this is where it ends like this is where it comes to an end um there's a lot of healing here in this energy and with the king of swords there and the six of swords it's like a very empowering energy where you're moving forward okay you're moving forward in your truth you're living the truth and injustice okay libra aquarius gemini energy but i'm mainly getting that that justice uh, you know, the Libra energy. We could see the Justice card kick in. Um, it could even be cancer that somebody here robs you, somebody close to you, they betray you. Um, they take something that's very near and dear towards you. Okay, they take it, right? We're seeing these rats. So it's like a huge revelation here is coming. Definitely guard your treasure. Okay, definitely listen to your intuition. Okay, the moon came and the dice. Okay, remember, the moon rules over cancer. This is your reading. There are messages here for you. Wait, this is not the deck I want to use. I want to use this deck first, and then I'll use that deck. We have several decks here. I love the artwork. Oh, here we go. Ooh, some of you are manifesting a lover. Look at this. Reconciliation. So I am saying here, some of you will move in with this person. For some of you, this could be a twin flame. Oh, wow. They're ready to take. Look at that angel of Venus right there. They're ready to take it to the next level. They're reaching out. Look at them appearing as the magician. 
I also see that you guys can manifest this positive outcome. You know, stop chasing this individual. Stop chasing them because then they go running. You know, the law of attraction, law of manifestation, you don't chase it, it comes to you. So some of you can manifest this person in. You do have that power, believe it or not. But I also see this person is, for some of you, they're also manifesting you. I'm hearing sex magic, so they could be masturbating to you, to your pictures. And that puts that energy over you to like want to reach out to them, to want to talk to them. Or like that brings that energy, like it closes the gap between the two of you. We have the moon card, literally, we rolled, we rolled the moon and we're getting the moon card. Also the king of swords, right? The king of swords is mainly Aquarius energy, I do believe. Either the king of swords or the queen of swords, I'm not too sure. But Aquarius energy there, there's that moon card, secrets, secrets being revealed, revelation. Also, this is Pisarian energy. Wow, double the Pisarian energy. There's triple the water energy here. Definitely listen to your intuition. Um, also, don't make reckless. It's very important here, Cancer. Don't make reckless decisions, okay? Definitely think things through. Definitely listen to your intuition. Um, because the hangman there, it's almost like I'm getting here this energy of like not everything is as it seems. So definitely be careful. Be on guard here. What else? Page of Wands, okay, so there's somebody else here, what do they want, the Fool, there's somebody else here, there's a friend with benefits, okay, I am seeing that here, they're wanting, like, to just do stuff with you, they're not wanting anything, like, they're not wanting commitment, okay, with the Fool card there, um, they're just wanting to be free, no strings attached, some of you may entertain this, others may not, but I am seeing here, if you were waiting for someone, okay, um, they are coming in, however, some of you are, like, not too sure if you really want anything to do with this individual anymore. Uh, I feel like they played too much with your heart. Yeah, wow, the hangman. Like, now you're gonna wait. And, you know, it's it's almost like the hangman. Look at this. Like, just look at that. Um. Definitely be cautious. Definitely think things through and listen to your gut instinct. Listen to your intuition. Wow, you know... We got the moon, right? We got the moon on the dice, right? And we got the moon card. We have Aquarius. I never said it. You know, like, we could see the star card kick in. And we got the star card. You can't make it up. You just can't make it up. This is like 5D chess. This is spiritual chess here we're playing. Okay, spirit is already... Like, spirit is speaking through the cards. And I feel like the moon and... Aquarius, aka the star, belong together here because they came out together. Uh, very beautiful energy. Did I not say we could see justice kick in? Did I say that in this reading? Libra energy, yeah, with the king of swords, I was saying it. We could see justice. We could see justice kick in. Did I not say it? What card are you going to get? Do you guys have, like, are you guys, like, in shock and disbelief? Because I am, and I do this for a living. This is insane. Like, the other reading, all four queens came out. Now this reading, like, I'm like, oh, we could see it kick in, we could see this kick in, and the cards are coming out. It's crazy. It's crazy, but... Whatever has happened here, whoever hurt you in the past, whoever did you wrong, you are being vindicated. Okay, there is going to be justice. Also, some of you might get marriage. Like, you might be literally married by the end of 2022. Also, if you have a court case, um, it is going to go in your favor. You are going to win. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm seeing that as, like, you might be dealing with two people. It might be a love triangle situation. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Like, you're juggling two people here. For some of you, this is a past individual that has been back and forth. They've ghosted you. Um, but for others, I do see, like, two new people there. Okay, I am getting Nicaraguan. I'm also getting Italian and Nigerian. Nigerian has been coming up strong. Okay, Nigerian has been coming up. Also, Puerto Rican. Those have been coming up strong. Um, even Mexican, okay? But they could be Caucasian as well for some of you brown hair i'm seeing a lot of brown hair but i'm seeing all hair here but i'm seeing brown um auburn type hair you know reddish brown 
for a small percentage of you black or blonde okay wow at the bottom again the two of cups two of cups so there is reconciliation here with someone from the past for a lot of you okay this could be a twin flame that ghosted you that left you hanging <clears throat> we'll see what else spirit has seven of wands five of cups king of swords again wow seven of pentacles yeah you're very guarded is what i'm saying here cancer you're not just gonna let anybody come in okay you're protecting your energy you're protecting yourself you you've been hurt in the past 2021 was a very trying year and you're not having it this time around yeah queen of pentacles a uh, very strong capricorn energy this is someone that has rebuilt their heart piece by piece they're not about to just give it to anybody else okay the six of pentacles there that's what i'm seeing here uh cancer i was about to call you capricorn that's crazy yeah you're done giving free handouts you're done giving free handouts to people you're done giving your time your energy yeah justice this is karma you know this karma like you're gonna focus on yourself like literally justice twice the scale is turning back on your favor cancer if you felt like things were never going your way rest assured 2022 is your year where things are going to balance in your favor okay like death is there literally the angel of death is here and people are about to start reaping what they have sowed yeah the sun wow you have three three celestial bodies look at this three celestial bodies even temperance right because you have jupiter in the background there and that's an angel a celestial being of light look at this Look at that. That's incredible. That's incredible. This is incredible. This is like healing energy, really healing yourself, loving yourself. It's also like a lot of stuff being revealed to you, a lot of secrets with the moon there underneath there, right? Ace of Pentacles. Some of you could be getting a job offer, a new job offer. With the star there, though, I see a lot of you, those of you that are in the spotlight, right? With the sun, the spotlight, light, right? You're in front of a lot of people you're in the public eye or you're about to be you're about to start like an etsy shop a youtube you know whatever it may be online a lot of you are going to make very good money you're going to make very good money is what i'm saying here page of swords oh so this twin flame or this person that ghosted you they're stalking you yeah you had a fallout with them they're stalking they're watching the success four of swords at the bottom they want to be a part of this they're thinking of reaching out you can't make it up you can't make it up. So now they see your success. They see you doing big things. And they want to be a part of it. They want to be a part of your story. <clears throat> this came out in the Scorpio read. Definitely watch the Scorpio reading. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're focusing on your emotional uh, happiness. Yeah, death rebirth. A lot of water energy in your read. Cancer. A lot of water energy. Definitely watch the Scorpio read. Because you have uh, Scorpio twice here with the death card three of cups a card of reconciliation but also your guides are celebrating yeah look the six of cups the reconciliation that's what i was getting here uh you know six of cups could be like a past person um but what i also see when i see the six of cups it's like a past life individual somebody that you had a past life with and the three of cups there is like a card of reconciliation um you know you're gonna sit and have drinks with this individual and try to try to find a happy medium here here we have the hierophant so I feel like you're learning more about spirituality, law of attraction, manifestation. Yeah, page of wands. It's like you're waving the magic wand. Literally, that's what I'm getting here. You're waving literally the magic wand to manifest. Temperance again. You, so your angels are really watching over you. They want to know that they're watching over you, that you're divinely guided. And here we have the six of pentacles. You're done giving free handouts to people. You're done giving, giving, giving to people who are not receptive to that energy. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Cups. This year is going to, you know, it, it may start off rocky winter time, but I feel like it's going to lead to the best, the best years of your life afterwards. At the bottom here, we have the High Priestess. So definitely listen to your intuition, right? That moon card, the High Priestess is reaffirming that because the High Priestess is a very intuitive individual. Okay, somebody that's listening to their intuition, somebody that's observing and not saying anything, just observing before doing anything. So you definitely need to be in that energy, Cancer. Bridge. 
yeah so it's like oh finances yeah like if it felt like um you were going to be poor forever or you were never going to get a house you were never going to get enough money no spirit is bridging the gap here you're about to like definitely be creative definitely be creative like Whatever you have thought about doing, definitely do it because there's this energy here where you can bridge that gap. Yeah, learning. If you don't know how to do stuff online, learn. Watch videos on YouTube, okay? Take a course, um, you know, just teach yourself and also do the manifestations, do the law of attraction, coldness, okay? So, you know, don't let past situations keep you from learning or keep you from you know, like maybe going to a class, um, you know, because you don't want to socialize with people, right? Don't let that hold you back. Like that could be the class that you need to go to that will open a new doorway for you to make more money, to, to bring in more abundance in your life. So don't let, you know, heartbreak and deception and things that happened in the past keep you from this, keep you from your success. Yeah, teamwork. I feel like also this past person that ghosted you or left you out in the cold, for, you know, for those of you that are wanting them to come back, they're going to come back and they're going to want to work on you. Well, work on your guys' relationship, number one. But two, they're going to want to work with you um, in whatever it is that you decide to do. I also see some of you could be making new friends here that are into the line of work that you're doing. I also see some of you, you like I said, some of you could be meeting a new romantic interest. Okay, and it's gonna be like a dream team, so to so to speak. Delays, yeah. I feel like everything's coming together now. There's no more delays. Ooh, passion. So some of you could be like, this is gonna be a very sexual year. You know, I should have said that because death twice. Scorpio energy. Scorpio is a very sexual sign. Ooh, yeah, dating. Look at this. So this is your lucky year in love. Okay, I am gonna say that, Cancer. Wow, you can't make that up. Didn't I say, like, some of you could be getting married? Yeah, some of you could be getting married by the end of 2022. Or you might be somebody's uh, soon-to-be wife, soon-to-be husband. So congratulations for those of you that this is happening. So that is your reading, my beautiful Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you the best of luck. and I wish.